everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to the Transmute demo. Uh, it's made by the developer Evan Tor, who is actually kind enough to reach out to me. I've been following this game for a while, and I guess if you haven't, which I'm assuming most people probably don't know about this game, it is a proper, like, old-school Super Metroid-style Metroid game. Oh, extra player health. I'm going to turn that on because I am bad. Maybe I'm not bad, but I just like having extra health. Let's dive right in. Anyway, I'm assuming that's the Morph Ball. It's very much an homage. Being an anti-colonialist space scrapper isn't easy, especially nowadays. The date is April 28th, 2105. This is Moon Mikono on the Space Urchin, and today is the, f the day I finally get some answers. It's been six years since I spoke to my mother, Wendy Mikono, a lead researcher on Terraforming Station 6. Not easy seeing eye to eye with someone whose work goes against everything you believe in. It's been one year since she perished in a devastating electrical explosion, along with the rest of the station. The space around the colonized planet is now designated off-limits. Something isn't what it seems, and I don't trust a corp to fill me in. The last few weeks have been a blur, prepping for this, tuning up the craft, acquiring a defense blaster. I think there's something wrong with the planet. Okay. I... what? Is this me? Why am, I, why am I in a tube in a lab? Oh my god, this defense blaster is bad. Check this out. Okay. I think I'm going to mess with the sound settings a little bit. Uh, Turn that down. I'm going to turn the rest of the game up a bit. Because I want to hear that music. It was pretty good on the main menu and I want to hear the rest. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm going to assume that the range gets tremendously better once we get rolling. But we will see. Okay, so immediately a character reminds me of, yeah, you know, very much Samus, uh, old school Metroid, Metroid style. Hello, Spark Blood Injector. Pre press B to inject Spark Blood and recover health. Refill your injector by wounding creatures infused with Spark Blood. Makes sense. But I was actually going to say the environment is giving me some very strong um, Axiom Verge vibes, which is kind of neat actually. But yeah, Estus Flask. And, well, it's not quite an Estus Flask, because the Estus Flask refills only at bonfires most of the time. This is, uh, this is a little bit more vers versatile, because it recharges slowly. Okay. Bat. Okay. This sucker is going to be obnoxious. Now, can I... No. So, it looks like there's no diagonal shooting. It's just up or sideways. Ah, I heal. Alright, whatever. How do, how do I heal? There we go. It looks like it's only one HP at a time. And we get... Wave Blaster. Augment. Twist blaster attacks into wave-like pattern, hitting a wider area. Equip it a repair station, gain these effects. Ooh, so customizable. I wonder if there's a limited amount of slots. The range of the guy is disappointing. I'm sure. I'm sure it gets. Uh, it gets way better as we go along. Now, do I have a map? Map? Nope. I don't have a map yet. Hello, traveler. If you're reading this, hopefully you've fully recovered in your stasis pod. Apologies for the inconvenient location, but it was the only unused pod remaining. There should be a spark blood injector in the storage room nearby. Good luck, Doctor Anaya. Huh. But not a repair thing. Okay. Would have gone with a rifle and a pistol if I was going to an unknown planet. I mean, maybe it's hard to actually pick up the, uh... Oh. Uh, like, maybe it's not easy getting a better gun. Maybe they're, you know, whatever the corp system is, is kind of restrictive on what is available. At least that's my general assumption. There we go. Whoop. Hard landings, but not necessarily too hard. Today I heard the planet speak. I followed Mikkel's notes to a side corridor in the mines. It took me a week to find a safe way through. A uh, safe way through. Noting the guards' shifts. Oh. Damn it. Okay. How do I get that back? Cassettes. Planet. Ah, I can speed it up. 
Noting the guard shifts and rerouting the cameras, finally I made it to the elevator within. An elevator not on any station maps. Down in that hidden facility, I heard a voice, like an invasive thought. Invasive thought. Go away. The planet is alive! Overgrowth. I'm going to assume going in the water is probably a bad idea, so I think I'm going to skip it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like this place uh, went great. Respawn set, access augments. Wave blaster. Oh. It requires three, though. I need more power. Repair stations are a place to regain spark blood. And tweak your exosuit and back up your physical matter in case of injury. That's worrying. There we go. You know, interestingly enough, the, the limited range has yet to actually feel like that much of an issue. Hi? Eject brain imprint. What? A virtual copy of an organic mind. What? That that got dark. Okay. On. Oh, hello. Wait. I want to grab this. I don't know if this is like a shopkeeper or what. A service model droid. Droid. I need to know which sector Wendy Makoto worked in. My kin call me Blink. Um. Okay, Blink. Can you tell me where Wendy Mikono worked? I don't know. I'm not a service model. After the spark blood outbreak, Hive granted all the bots here a soul. Uh huh. So you're searching for a Wendy Mikoto. Perhaps we can help each other. Behind me is the way to the other sectors, but it's been blocked for years. You'll need some special equipment to break through. Fair enough. Yeah. So very Super Metroid, but I was gonna say the um the visual style, especially the the goopy bits very much remind me of Axiom Verge. Though, I will say, uh, from kind of my experience of Axi Axiom Verge, oh, you know what, that's probably a Sparkblood plant. Oh, nope, it had money. It was a money plant. There we go. Uh, do we go in here? Sure, why not? That thing's terrifying. But also dead. I guess I might as well heal up while I'm here. Eventually I'll have a use for this money, cash thing. As is old school. But it's like good old school. It it plays uh plays really well, it looks great. I guess I might as well heal while we're here. Like, I loved Axiom Verge, but I found it to be a little obtuse at times. Whereas this feels like just baseline, really smooth, really nice. The environments are easy to discern what's going on. The music isn't quite as as banging, which is unfortunate. It's very atmospheric. I think that's something... I think a lot of Metroidvanias do miss out on a little bit. Uh, when it comes to design and whatnot, that if you're going to be making a Metroidvania, you really got to make sure you've got one banger of a soundtrack. Or something kind of that works as a stand-in. Like Hollow Knight, for example. Really good music. Wouldn't necessarily call it a banger. So much as something completely different. Hopefully this won't have a creepy version of yourself following you like in Fusion. Oh, ugh, yeah. Yeah, Metroid Fusion is actually the only old, uh, like, the only proper old school, uh, only proper old school Metroid I've ever played. Oh, lab up. I'm gonna grab my money first. Um, yeah, we were flying to Croatia, and I had my PSP, and I got a, I got an emulator running on it. And I played a tremendous amount of Metroid Fusion. Oh, this is weird looking. Hello, welcome to my shop. I'm very real, much, uh, my very real, much frequented shop here on Terra 6. I guess old habits are hard to break. So once I gain consciousness, I chose what I, uh, to do what I do best. Scavenge, augment spark cores, fuses, all sorts of space outpost junk. Just trade me some red matter and they're all yours. Contain spark, one of three needed for an additional spark core. Heads up display, allows the user to see enemy and boss health bars, uses an energy. Draws loose red matter towards the user, uses an energy. 
Uh, allows the user to unleash many dark, uh, dead, sorry, many deadly spark blood, blood blasts. A fuse, repair a single blown fuse box, powering a station door. Well, I am poor, so we will come back. This looks interesting, but I, yeah, okay, can't get through there. Gosh, I, uh, <laughs> speaking of Metrovanias, I, I really want to do a video someday. Um, compiling all of the best Metroidvanias for a lot of different things. You know, Metroid, the, uh, was my controller out of juice? No. But my controller is no longer functional and I'm not sure why. Oh, I know why. Okay, now I can hear things. <laughs> that is a weird, weird problem. But it's fine. Technical difficulties are the best. Oh, I can go up? Or no, this is a respawn point. Offline. I wonder if that's, um, I wonder if that actually lets me warp between places here. It's, I want to say that's something that, uh, specifically a lot of Metroidvanias don't get right, is that, like, a really robust fast travel system can be handy. Eh, you know what? No, I'm going to backtrack on that one. There are serious downsides to fast travel systems as well. Okay, so I need a better gun to be able to get that one. So, I, eh, let's just go through here. Let's see what happens. Well, there's something. Somebody crashed here. Reboot initiated. Ion batteries at 57%. 4,600 days, 19 hours, 14 minutes since last login. That's been over 10 years. 4,600 days? Voice pattern recognized. Welcome, Moon. My scanners were permanently damaged by the EMP blast, but if you take my survey core, you can manually map the surrounding areas. Ejecting survey core in 3, 2, 1... A staple of many spacefaring vessels maps the surrounding terrain. Use select to get the map. In the meantime, I was able to pick up a life signature matching that of your mother's. I'm uploading the data now to your internal map. Oh, it's so good. Anything else? Her life signature hasn't moved since we arrived, but it hasn't faltered either. She's probably part of the hive. Fuse. Standard issue fuse. Used to repair blown fuse boxes, often powering station doors. A wander been playing This Means Warp with my kids. Lots of fun. Thanks for introducing us to us. Wow, that turnaround. I'm glad you're enjoying it. If you don't revisit areas, you can't notice stuff you might have missed before, which is kind of important for this kind of game. Yeah, that's why I backtracked on the whole fast travel thing. Is that I think fast travel is important, but it can also be a problem. Um, I think it's... You're, it needs to be easier to... Maybe, maybe what I would say is fast travel but not in the standard way I think fast travel should be shortcuts ease of traverse like things that make traversal easier and faster you know hyper jumps and uh, so on and so forth that's I think the fast travel that metroidvania should have or is this the hive I don't know Dr. Anaya, you must be the one who crashed to the surface. You survived. You know me? I heard your ship crash, and upon finding you unconscious, I threw you in a pod. So you used used to be more mobile, a more mobile robot? You're talking to an honest god human uh, honest to god human being. You can call me Dr. Anaya. After the spark blood outbreak, many of my colleagues were killed or injured. I was lucky, but even I couldn't sustain myself forever. Any injured I found, I put in stasis pods, much like yours. When I gave up on the rescue mission, I began work on Haven. Haven? A neural network where those who, like me, have lost their bodies can reside and live on. If you can find the remaining stasis pods, you must download their imprints and bring them to me. Any chance you know what happened to Wendy Makoto? She's my mother. Oh. I'm sorry, but I didn't know anyone by that name. She must have worked in a different sector. Well, thanks anyway. I'll see what I can do. Boop. Oh, and he pays me for my troubles. Nice. I like it. Anything else? No. Terrible with remembering things, so without a fast travel system, we'll remain lost for a while. As long as it's got an ample, um, an ample mapping system. And that's the thing. More so, more so than, you know, fast travel being kind of convenient. A Metroidvania without a, a map feels wrong. Like, I, I really want to... I really, okay, so I, I was going to talk about this before my controller and my headphones went dead, 
but I really want to make more content like I did with my my Diablo video uh, recently, where I talk about like genres and different very uh, different things, various things. Uh, so one of them that I'd really like to talk about is you know what makes a Metroidvania, what makes a good Metroidvania. And, you know, what are some really interesting innovations that I've seen for the Metroidvania genre? Um, and so, you know, on the topic of Estus Flasks, I, I think the Estus Flask is probably actually one of the best um, innovations in gaming, period. Which is kind of silly because it's like, yeah, go figure. Oh, this looks like a boss. Defiled Sentry. Why does it have brain? Okay, got it. Heal up. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna just use those barricades. I love the healing here. Yeah. Got him. Whoa, whoa. That's a lot. Okay. I was hoping to get maybe a gun off of that thing, but it's fine. Oh, baby, that looks freaky. Time to put my arm in. Transmutation detected. Blaster symbiote allows unstable blocks to be briefly disrupted. <laughs> Gross. Well, we can now get rid of those. We also have this sucker. And yeah, it looks like everything has spark blood. I really like the healing system in this, though. It it very much is risk-reward, but very friendly with the healing. Uh, kind of reminds me of, like, Hollow Knight. <laughs> Especially modded Hollow Knight, where things got really silly. But I, I'm digging the body horror-ish elements of it. I, I, this very much feels like it was probably inspired. Uh, more so by Metroid Fusion than any of the other ones, but I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, very, very heavy on the... Axiom Verge, very heavy on a lot of other things. I think that's really good. I don't know. I... It's weird. I saw a bunch of uh, other YouTubers recently kind of maligning the Metroidvania genre. And I think there's there's kind of truth in it. That uh, a lot of Metroidvanias are kind of... Humdrum, they don't change too much. But at the same time, I think there's kind of an interesting purity of it. That it's... It's more of a... Refinement. I don't want to call it like thousand. The if you put an infinite number of monkeys into a room with typewriters, eventually one of them is going to come up with the in, entire works of Hamlet. But it's like it's kind of that. Yeah, Axiom Verge is a really good one, and Axiom Verge Two is like even better. Uh, I haven't heard as many people talking about it, unfortunately. I think a lot of that just boils down to the fact that. It's, uh, you know, there have been so many other Metroidvanias out lately that it's easier for that one to be less prominent, question mark. Oh, right. This just refreshes me and heals me and some other things. Oh, I still don't have enough batteries, but it's fine. Uh, do I want to try and go up? I'm just... Oh, right. We're going to look for the robot. I don't remember where he was. I'll just wander. I mean, we're trying to get currency to get goodies.
I think friend bot might be the other way. But at least I can get this dude's brain bit. There we go. It's not a popular type of game. Yeah. I... It's interesting. I think maybe I'll... I'm going to wager, after Metroid Dread, I could see Metroidvania is kicking off in a big way. I could be wrong, but I feel like you kind of need some of that mainline appeal uh, to make a genre sing. And so potentially by like Nintendo, potentially uh, supporting the genre, I guess, with a mainline title that is actually available uh, for everyone. Let's see, do I want to just... I don't know, I'm just going places. Let's see, if it's good, it'll crowd out all the other ones, I think. I think that is possible. Oh, I see. What you probably want to do is actually go this way. I... I think it's possible. I'm not sure if it's the case, though. I can't shoot down. Eh, that's fine. I don't really need to shoot down. I think it, it, the question is, are people going to want more or are they going to be satisfied with Dread? And that's always a bit of a doozy question. I'm trying to think of a, oh, oh, we got a battery bit. Three energy from batteries. You may now use more augments at once, as well as more powerful augments. Yup. I definitely want to see about that wave blaster. Because I think that could be really good. Especially for aim and some other things. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we will see. That is if they don't mess up Dread. I would be shocked if they did. Whoa! I was not expecting like a laser shotgun. That's kind of kick ass. It'll certainly make it a little easier to hit enemies. Oh, that would have been really good against the boss, but I don't think it would have been able to do it. Yeah, when, when was the last time that Nintendo, a like first party Nintendo, truly messed up a game? I do not like the sounds of these things. Oh, well, I forgot. Whoa. Oh. I have another health bar? That's weird. Like, I think the only... Uh, I think the... Oh, don't touch the tentacles. I think the only thing I can immediately think of... Uh, debatably, Pokemon Sword and Shield. I think that's valid. Woo. I think that's valid, but I'm not a, I'm not going to say the Pokemon series is uh, first party. So it looks like when my health turns purple, I can't get that back. I might have to... Oh, right. That hurts. Like Pokemon Sword and Shield. I, there are reasons to like it, but as... As somebody that's been playing, like, every Pokemon game for forever, I guess I did miss Ultra Sun and Moon. I've just been losing a lot of interest in their games lately. When healing shoots at tentacles that damage enemies and block projectiles. Oh, that'd be really good against boss fights. I like it. Um, but I, I'm thinking, like, true mainline. Because I wouldn't say Metroid Other M is, like, a mainline... Well, hmm. But I guess by that merit... Metroid Prime isn't a mainline um, Nintendo proje product either. Let's see Miyamoto himself helms Star Fox Zero. Yeah, that's probably a good one. I feel like you could make Star Fox Zero into a good game. All you'd have to do is just fix the controls so they're not bonehead. Stabilizer. Lengthens the user's blaster attacks. Thought so. Messed up the latest Mario Party. I don't know if they... I'd say they messed that one up as... Per se... I think it would be easier to say that they just... Didn't finish it. Dread is actually made by a secondary company. Well, never mind. I am apparently quite wrong in all of this. 
Super Mario Party sucked. Super Mario's big, uh, Super Mario Party's biggest issue is just the fact that they just kind of threw it out in the wild and then said, "All right, that's it." And we're, everybody was like, "But there's like not not enough here." I all they needed to do specifically, like it was still fun. I enjoyed it a lot, but the level design was eh. Um, the level design was eh, and there weren't enough maps. There's not a whole lot of desire in me to fight one of these guys. Probably heal, but still. Uh, let's see. The new Mario Party Superstars looks like a redemption. Oh, are they actually making a new one? Because I know they did a DLC that I probably should have played, but... Aha! You made it back with an upgraded blaster. I'm almost inclined to feel optimistic. Let's travel down and find our kin. Is this actually where I want to go, or do I want to check out? Uh, there's like nothing. Down we go! Ah, oh, it's so goopy looking. Maintenance, entrance. Oh boy. Okay. Gow. That's a lot of spikes. Wait. Are these... Are these stalactites? Do I get healing off of them? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. When do I want to get a double jump? Hopefully sooner than later. There we go. Can't help but wonder what Retro is doing before they had to pick up pieces of Prime 4. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, one way or another, I I guess I always just kind of... Whenever Nintendo puts out a game, it's whenever Nintendo puts out a game. I don't really... Oh, shit. Well, I'm not getting either of those. Hey, and we're back up to green health. Yeah, so it looks like we've got twice as much health... As I think I do. But the first bar is very limited. Oh, it's a bomb. Okay, good to know. Ow. I'm gonna heal up here briefly. There we go. Alright. Get back. Oh, Oh shit. That thing is boogieing. It does not like me being here. Got it. Blood Maggot. An elusive creature that can affect both organic and robotic entities alike with spark blood. What? Alright. That's spooky. That was Nintendo hate Donkey Kong. I'm always a little shocked that they don't put out more games, to be honest. Oh. Oh, I see. like a security system. But I have to hit this thing from below. Damn it. All right. Run. Okay. Sucker is kind of hard, actually.
Nope, I'm dead. Whoa, that was weird. Critical damage sustained. Revived. Okay, and I have to get my money back. Ouch, gross. Infuse maggot? What does that do? Okay. I have a maggot. Creepy. Alright, let's go back. It was just right here, yeah? No, not quite. Whoa! Okay, so apparently you can blast the armor off of those guys. That's kind of sick. Creepy, but sick. There we go. Alright, let's go back and fight this thing. So we've already... We've already seen a boss. And yeah, I have to piss this thing off. Alright, let's do this again. Yeah, it looks like the maggot gives a 2 HP shield that doesn't come back. Oh, wow, that was fast. A lot easier than trying to fight the damn thing. There we go. Boy, thank you, Shotgun, for existing. All right. At this point, I think... Have we gone on far enough? I don't know. It's one of those that Metroid, Metroidvanias... Uh, oh, no. No, let's, let's go see if I can find the mother. We're so close. It's just the other direction that I was going. Let's, let's go see the hook. I bet she got goops. I bet she's part of the hive or something. Four AMGC policy forbids the forbids access to the hive during quarantine measures. Three critical system failures have been detected: insufficient oxygen production, major spark blood leaks, and energy surges. Access to hive will be reinstated once these station malfunctions are addressed. A little maintenance work. I can handle that. I'm coming for you, mom. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I was gonna go see the. I was going to go see the hook, but I think this is going to be the extent of it. There might be more that I can do in this area. Mom is super dead. I don't know if she's super dead. I don't know what the hive is. Hive could just be straight up like a, uh, a stasis system and nothing more. Or uh, it could literally be like a hive mind thing. Hey, Moon. I've only been here one month, but I already have so much to share with you. I've made friends. My boss doesn't suck. Well, my manager, that is. Can't speak for the rest of them. Got the old cassette recorder you left behind working again. Sold the first check should have cleared by now. You deserve this. Another shot at life in the galaxy. Hopefully one day I'll get the courage to send this. Just know that you've always been in my heart. Love, Mom. Ah, uh, and the cassettes can't be scrambled. Makes sense. Yeah, it could be super mutated. Or the mother is fine, but we're, like, the end of this is going to come and go, and we're going to pull the helmet off, and we're going to be not human. But yeah, it's probably going to be in a pod with a million robot tentacles attached to her. That's just how these games seem to work, mostly. Okay. Well, we found pretty much everything. Do we want to go more? Yeah, she's probably the Hive Queen. Yeah. With a name like Hive, there's no way it isn't just freaky and gross. But I'm fine with it. I'm liking this music here, though. It's very pleasant. I like it. Yeah, save point over here. Cool. All right. Well, this is pretty damn promising as far as like Metroidvanias go. If you are like me and you pretty much love every every iteration that anybody ever makes, this one ranks. Oh, you know that extra health that I had? That's the second health bar that I'm working with. The green things are the extra health. That's super nice, actually. It feels way better to me. So this is a roguelike Metroid game. Uh, minus the Vania part, or is this Metroid Metroidvania? So this is a Metroid Metroidvania, like pure on Super Metroid. Uh, only real influences, outside influences, I could say, is uh, specifically there's an Estus Flask system um, that feels pretty dang good. It recharges real quick, and I think this is a little bit easier than most other Metroids that I've played, uh, at least recently or in recent memory. 
Um, no roguelike elements to this. This is not a robot named Fight or anything of the sort. It is just true blue, explore, fill the map out, find all the secrets, find all the MacGuffins, get stronger, and then eventually beat the game. And I think that's a good way of doing it. But for now, I I don't actually know where the end of the demo is. I'm probably right before it, but who knows? Uh, so, with all of that, for those of you on YouTube at least, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, hit subscribe. Because I've got tons of them. I got so much. And I'm probably going to fast track this episode for tomorrow. If you guys watching this video uh, like what you see and you want to give it a shot yourselves, it is available as part of the Steam Next Fest. So you can download the demo and play it yourselves and get further than I did. But with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.